Well guys, here's my snow peas. Yum. That beautiful. Another one here. Over here I've got chocolate mint. Yummy, yummy mint that smells minty and chocolatey. And here, I've got my corn growing. Now all these things we eat and I use in some of my recipes. <laughs> That's my mint. Look at that. Beautiful, going so well. And here, and we eat a lot of this. Got rocket, rocket spinach. Uh, it's just, it's flowering now, so it's gonna be seeding. And I've got some parsley in here, yummy. You can see lots of where I've been cutting. And we've got some, yep, yeah, here we go, spinach here. Um, again, there's things missing because we eat this a lot. And here, growing some asparagus. And over here, more asparagus. Ah, here's my lovely wood sign to flower. Nice. It's my capsicum. And over here, it's already, yep, it's getting some beans on it. More. Yep. Here's some yummy blueberries. They'll be ripe. These will be ready to pick in a few days or so. So uh, probably starting tomorrow I'll put a, a net over them so the birds don't eat them because they really like to eat these. Got my little tomato plant just starting to do well. This will go really well. Can't wait to have tomatoes. Nice, right, my thyme. Fresh thyme. Can't beat fresh thyme. And you got this. Oh, this is going so well. Uh, see? Oregano, oregano, hot and spicy. It's really got a nice kick to it. Really good. Over here, I've got some chilies. Yeah, doing all right. Got peppermint over there. I've got quite a few blueberry plants as you can see in the distance we also grow strawberries I come out here with Ayla and we pick the strawberries and we pick the blueberries she has such a great time we have these just eating them fresh so so yummy and there are my chives I've got more chives planted in other areas but this is the one that I've been taking cuttings from as you can see because uh, I use these in videos and just general cooking as well. <sighs> mm, more blueberries. Oh, getting close. Uh, here's some spearmint. That's really good. Now these things like spearmint, peppermint, uh, other things I've got growing like chives, even though I use them in cooking, these are good to ward off pests. They attract some of these things, attract certain animals that eat other things like aphids. Now here's my kale. Unfortunately, it's not doing well. It was was doing well, and then it was eaten by some little green caterpillars. So I'm going to get a little net to cover it, and it'll it'll come back good. Over here, I've got coriander. It's um, it's just starting to it's flowered. And it's got little seeds all over it. This is going to drop. I, I can replant these anywhere and it's going to go so, so well. Uh, some more parsley in this little bed. And here, ha oh, oh, rosemary. This is so yummy. I, I use this a lot when I cook red meat. And we've also got a small lemon tree, lime tree. Got a little orange tree over here, avocado tree. Along here, 
little mandarin tree. We've got another mandarin tree. It's um, much bigger. Gets a lot of fruit, but I wanted another one. Over here, got a lemonade tree. Pink lady apple tree. I've got a couple of those. Um, but you need two different types of apples for them to cross-pollinate. You can't just have one apple tree, one different type, just one type. You've got to have at least two types. Over here, this is a pear. Oh, pear tree. And right here in the corner we've got a mango tree, just a little baby one. And we've got another apple tree, it's just a dwarf apple. And over there, we've got Japanese pear. So that Japanese pear and that dwarf apple, they are going to help to pollinate that pear and that apple and vice versa. So over in this garden bed, which I've already shown you stuff, we've got a good sized mandarin tree. Another another pink lady apple Ooh, flowering yeah over here we've got a lemon tree and over here got a fig tree you can see all the uh, the rocket in the uh, background ah and one thing i don't think i mentioned here it is this is pumpkin <laughs> 